Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special interlude episode. Uh, season 3 of Shining Force 2 just ended and before we get started with Season 4 there are a few uh, unattended businesses, some um, loosen ends that needed to be tied up. Okay, uh, the first is um, the mystery of the Pegasus wings. Okay. Uh, in the end, I was able to locate them. They were indeed in the in the royal castle of Pecalum, okay, and uh, they are not in the throne room. They are here, here. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, uh, it's probably one of the uh, most of noxious items to find and uh, I still don't know how I was able to, to, to find it I think j just by pure luck I suppose uh, at least the uh, warrior of pride that's needed for the Byron class at least was you know on some uh, standard um, hang on, on the wall in this case, you have no visual clue of what you're doing. Okay, that was losing end number one. The second one is an item. Um, I actually forgot about it. It's the Protect Ring. The Protect Ring drops from a Dark Madam, so a witch, uh, in the fight right before uh, getting inside mansion, uh, Creed's mansion. So, yeah, it was about six or seven fights ago and I've been missing out a lot um, I realized that it was there and I checked the fight again and it didn't drop so it occurred to me that it actually dropped the first time just probably the character who killed that particular enemy had their hands full when that happens particular items get recovered here in the deals. There it is, the Protect Ring. Protect Ring in increases the defense of the wearer by 5 points, which is pretty good itself, but also it can cast a level 1 uh, boost, which is actually level 1 quick. Um, an area of, uh, area of effect spells that increases defense and agility of up to 5 characters, which is which can be very very good and I surely missed it in the Zam Zalabard fight but now recover. Also another thing it's used in um, some leveling shenanigans because uh, when you cast it uh, you can the character earns uh, up to 25 experience points, 5 for each uh, person affected by the spells so with patience um, you can level up a character up to level 99 if you really uh, stick to it <laughs> with a lot of dedication. That's not my my plan. I, I actually am going to use it to help uh, Kiwi with his leveling up. Uh, still, I found um, that particular fight where the Protect Ring drops, it can be replayed and uh, it, there are some enemies that can still give experience points to Carter who are level 10 or 11 like most of my current roster so there's going to be a little bit for everything so I'm planning to, to um, take advantage of that fight and get as many experience points as possible Another item that I just found is the Goddess Staff. I think this dropped in the Zandalar fight. Um, maybe it was carried by a carter that we didn't kill. Anyway, it's here. Goddess Staff is probably the best staff available for Vicars. It, it can cast a level 2 aura, which is an area of effect healing spells. Think of it as a uh, level 1 heal, so 18 hit points uh, healed for, I think, everybody in a 3x3 three three, um, 
diamond shape or of effect like it should be like the the level two bold spell so uh again this can be used to rack up an enormous amount of experience points and um, however we still don't have anybody who's able to use it at the moment but we'll soon find somebody and with and this will be of great help now if we had uh, Sara to um, get promoted to uh, Vicar instead of Master Monk she could she could use it and it would uh, complement her, her spell repertoire very well but it is okay it's, it's still okay no problem and here it is uh, now I'm probably going to get all the mithril I sold sooner or later not now though and now I'm going to to do some grinding until I decide it's time for new episodes Hello again and welcome to another update. Um, I've done some grinding. Okay, uh, here I think this is the best place so far that I've found. It's the fight before Creed's Mansion. Okay, and as you can see, there's something strange. Okay, you might remember this fight, and um, from. Uh, season 2 and uh, yeah some enemies are not the same we met so uh, I didn't remember about this I don't even know if I knew it in first seasons but um, well one thing that I know that I that I knew back then is that some fights can be triggered on and on and on just step on a specific square and RNG uh, can spawn another another battle Okay, so can, they can be repeated uh, numerous times. One thing that I didn't recall though is that some enemies, not all, but some enemies are replaced based on your average level, on the average level of your of your current roster. So here it is, for instance, a Dark Knight. Okay, Dark Knight. Uh, the first time I think they met was in the Shrine fight. Uh, right before Zalbard and against Zalbard okay so they are current enemies okay we 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 met them again in the, the fight in Pakalon so they they're a match for a level 10 to 12 characters and I give full experience to those okay orcs are back then from like like level 20 22 before promotion, sorry. They are very, very, very weak. And um, last time, for instance, this um, orc here was replaced by a bubbling ooze, it was found in the. Uh, I think it was found in the miniature world. And uh, then you also get wizards. We are and this wizard is equipped with a protect probably a protect ring um, usually these are dark madams and this is the the one that we got the protect ring from well, actually they dropped the protect ring and we got it from the deals shop and also there's some healers are replaced with master monks who again uh, are a match for level 10 characters so you can still grant some experience for your for characters, uh, even the more experienced ones. Last time, also this skeleton was replaced by a worm, like the worms that we found in the, uh, on the bridge and in the shrine fight. So yeah, I didn't recall anything of the sort. It's not like I've done some grinding, uh, some systematical grinding. I usually prefer to um, fight a battle if I want to grind it I cast a grasp before killing the boss and do it that again instead of backtracking okay I've also tried doing the 
Uh, Secret Fairy Stage, which is another recommended tactic for grinding and likes. Uh, enemies continually spawn on pres very precise spawn places, so with the right placement of your troops you can um, set up some kind of kill box okay, and grind experience that way. But uh, the first enemies that you can encounter is the lesser demon, which is, uh, I think it's good at up until uh, level 7 or 8 after promotion. Then you have a miss demon who are terribly strong, have over 100 attack. So they would be a match for my more advanced card and they could even kill uh, with one hit. Uh, some of them, so it was quite quite dangerous. And uh, this is this is better. Running this fight is probably better. Okay. Look okay, about my characters. I've done some grinding. Okay. And um, so here's Kiwi. After promotion, yeah, I already promoted him. I got him to level 29. I use, even use a uh, brave apple to, to get the final level up because at this stage. Brave apples are not that. Actually, they're probably the least interesting uh, consumable, and um, so I, I used it on Kiwi, and he's doing great. Okay, he's on. He's projected to have a, a very high defense. Okay, uh, about twenty points higher than Jaha at the same level, which is great. His attack is. Would be about the same amount, the same level of our centaurs, okay. Uh, he won't get many more HP than what he has now. He gets one HP per level, so he'll do fine against physical attacks, but spell, spell, spell damage would be deadly again for him. However, it comes with a couple of perks. Uh, first, he can fly and he has a movement of 7, which is great. The other one is that he, uh, instead of uh, critical hits, he can uh, use a magical attack. Like, you know, the oozes, the cast, the, the blow bubbles, or uh, the weavers that belch out flames. Okay, there are two, maybe, you know, two characters, and he will use one of them that has those special attacks. So it's, uh, I, I, I'm giving him a shot. Another card I'm giving him a shot is Road, and mostly because I forgot about that, and um, he gains a lot of stats in the first few level ups. Uh, first time you level up, he gain 3 HP, 1 attack, and 3 defense. And then gain uh, 2 HP, 1 attack, and defense and then two one and two and he actually is already pretty close to Eric if he keeps I want to to check if he get into level 10 he keeps uh, keeps this up keeps this uh, skill up rate up because it could catch up on Eric and become we could become a serious uh, option um, to to May May is a uh, the glass cannon. She has a very high attack, good mobility, but very uh, few HP and a very low defense. So having a more survival ranged attacker with maybe less mobility and less attack, but more survivability could be an option. So I want to see how this goes. Uh, Eric and Janet are Already behind. Well, if, if Jan is already behind uh, behind Eric, and I don't think she can catch up. So it's it's a coin toss between Eric and and Road, and see when I get to level ten or eleven after promotion, see how they go. And I'll decide if I want to uh, keep uh, one in rotation or just leave them. And that's that was it essentially. Okay. Um, now I'm back to grinding. Uh, I'd like to get these characters to level 10 at least. Uh, mostly, as I said, Kiwi and uh, 
the two the two breast scanners and see how it goes. Higgins, well, not the is here, okay, just because I uh, don't want experience to go to go to waste, but he's definitely behind the other paladins. So really he It's hard to to <laughs> to have him in the in the active roster. Okay, well that's that's all. Um, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon with uh, season four. And until then, take care and goodbye.